Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Miami. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. And yeah, they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. He rifles one that's intercepted. The big fella! And he will bring it back. It's a pick six on a Dolphins touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. After the turnover, it's two, and that is going to be caught. And it moves the lead to 8-0. They wasted no time showing how aggressive they're going to be in this game. They get the quick score, and then they go for two CD. Surf's up, partner. And when surf's up, you ride the wave. They felt great about that quick drive, put it in the end zone. Why not go for two? They felt comfortable with the play call that they had. And the home crowd loves it. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines to run in for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Finds Lazard quickly on the slant. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Throw right side. This is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. And search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To throw is Rodgers. Able to find Lazard. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 26. That third down conversion good for 23. Rodgers now on first down. 
And Lazard's got it again. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushes just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. One quarter down, 8 nothing the score. a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive but right now they need five yards on this third down try the quick slant caught and it's a Packers touchdown Aaron Rodgers hitting Alan Lazard and the Packers have cut the lead back down to two bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone so obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see, great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive, they've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. So 8-8, eight, eight, our score now as he'll send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 21. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. Here we go, here we go. Right, 97. Ready. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. On play action, here's Tua. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Last play, they got stopped at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Good job there getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps him advancing the ball. The last run got six, now second and four. Once again, it's Mostert. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. 
And the Packers are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Finding room at midfield. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Rodgers now on first down. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. He's got room at the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover that plagued it on the last one. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Two and now on first down. Going for the deep ball. He's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle, 74 yards. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make our score 15-8. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. This is Lazard with a catch out left. Touchdown! Alan Lazard as the first half is winding down. And the Packers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. 
extra point up and good by Crosby. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he returns this to the 22. Ready. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this will be called officially a 66-yard attempt. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. Oh, but this is going to backfire as it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. And let's see the Packers defensively six DBs, so a dime look on third. Could play coverage or bring pressure. Two are going to throw. Now he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. 
Well, partner, this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them to secure another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort? to match their opposition's pick six from earlier in this game. Taken at the 15, a short kick. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. Say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays gear. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. He'll get this to Lazard. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Josiah DeGuora, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point try now for Crosby. And the lead is up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. Two of finding Gesicki there for a Dolphin first. They'll run right side with Mostert. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. With Sean Gary that time through the line and getting the tackle for loss. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Play action. Now it's Tua. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Packers are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now first down carry by Jones. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That play over before it got anywhere thanks to Christian Wilkins. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 
Jet sweep. Here's Watson. Down right around the 25. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now left side on the swing pass. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. This offense on third down today, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and 11. He'll complete this one to Watson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. They stopped him in his tracks. Gets it out quickly here to the left flat. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Jones will take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Now Crosby for the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. From the 10. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. In this position, Trump 